This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hi. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, hi everybody. That's our producer, Amy, and it's well, Priya. Say hi, guys. Hi, hi. Well, you're going to hear a story <laughs> from Amy about how she's a great person. Um... She gave it. She drove a stranger, complete stranger, somewhere, and that got us talking about that exact thing. It's, it's a great story to go along story. with. Yeah, it. you'll find out where our boss has been holidaying in Lisbon, and you'll find out why you want to book there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, if you're a man that loves a man, it's very niche. Kelsey Brown from the West Coast Fever joins us. She's up and about today, plenty of energy. And as we know, Jeremy McGovern from the West Coast Eagles has been driving back from Melbourne because he wasn't allowed to fly because of his punctured lung. Mm-hmm. Um, we catch up with him somewhere near. Cum- Oh, this is Nathan, Nat and Sean. Get up and about. Great to be here, Natalie. I'm not going to use this to his life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's five past six. Good morning, friend. Good morning, hey, everyone. Everybody. It's Friday. 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 Harry, hit it. Richie Valens. It's pretty much like um, old yeah, mate God singing, uh, Beaver singing Despacito. He didn't know what he was singing. No. Didn't. Yeah. Doesn't is this that your Friday song? <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly is this Friday. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Jimmy, we're we're, we about. celebrated a bit early because yesterday had uh, a bit of GYG. That should have been yeah, today. that's true. We did, God, yeah. I was heartbroken. I know you were, were Okay, you? so we saw that um, GYG were bringing in some food, right? Mm. We were so excited. And then we were running an ad. Mm. And as you know, we are very into ads here. Yeah. <laughs> and I looked at the ad and I went, oh, my gosh, this is about the... New mushroom taco. New mushroom mm. taco. And I went, oh, no, what the food we're getting brought in has mushrooms. It <laughs> doesn't do mushrooms. <laughs> no! And it's unlike the avocado thing where he does guacamole. No, this he does not do <laughs> But, God, they look good. They look good. Actually, uh, we had a, a little bowl, didn't we? And yeah, it was we loved tasty, it. tasty, yeah. yeah. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Nathan, Nat and Sean are saving their favourite recipes and you can save at Harding Co during their package and save plus 15% off Neff Appliances packages. All right, here we go. (laughs) We are looking for your signature dish, the one that when you get invited Mm. to people's place, they go, oh, my God, can you bring that thing that you make because you make it better than everyone else? That's what we want to hear about. Do you have a signature dish? Um, I do make a good curry. I make a a, a carol and fish curry. Who? So carol is... Carol and fish. You get get four kilos of carol. (laughs) It's the southwest coast of of India. And yeah, seasonal. Well, there's, there's free it's a range. Big hit, if there's, Sean? there's free it's range. There's free yeah. range carols, for, yeah. and then carols. there's caged carols. Okay. Um, I, like, I like I like a carol that's just in a pantsuit running across a field. That's a free range carol. <laughs> in a pantsuit. <laughs> And seasonal, obviously. Oh yeah, they're mm. seasonal carols. Mm. What's my dish? I would say the old S Mac throws out. Oh, I do this beef uh, minced chow mein. It's a povo <laughs> dish. But I don't get too many complaints. Sounds great. Yep. Um, mine's, <laughs> mine's crumpets over the sink. <laughs> Whilst crying. Sometimes, sometimes he cooks them. <laughs> and you've got to shed a tear, raw, otherwise raw it's not crumpets the same. over the sink, just raw crumpets. Exactly. Imagine eating a raw crumpet. Yeah. I have, yeah. Do you reckon there's people out there that like raw crumpet? Sure. <laughs> Are we talking about the same thing? Oh, um, sorry. What are you doing eating that over the sink? Okay, here's the deal. Well, to be honest, it's probably the best place to eat. <laughs> We're going to take three callers. You're going to tell us about your amazing signature. Dish. The one that takes our fancy today will score five hundred dollars cash, but also score an exclusive invitation to our Heart and Co brunch, which is happening a week from today. Yeah, yeah, Fantastic! Yeah. Where somebody, mm. the best dish of all, will win five thousand dollars worth of Neff okay, kitchen appliances. Okay, so five hundred dollars today for being yes. chosen, and yes. then when you come along to the lunch mm. next week, you could walk away with that mm. five thousand dollars worth of Neff prize. Mm. That, that, come on, I know that's amazing. And also, we all get to yeah. hang out yeah. and eat great food. Yeah. So we wonder. I, I wonder if the if the gang before. Seven o'clock, which is all the people listening mm. now. I wonder if they're better cooks. I wonder they, if they've got you know, better things. Here's the reason why I say they are. They're already up marinating yeah, stuff right. as we speak. That's true. They're slow cooking. Yes. So well here's done, what's yeah. in the mix so far. 
We've got a lemongrass coconut chicken curry from James. We've got Rebecca's famous ranch salad, which includes um, a whole heap of uh, Paul Newman ranch dressing, potato yep. gems, yep. bacon yep. and chicken strips. Um, that's been passed our generations, mm. that yes. recipe. Um, spicy apple and salted caramel pork ribs. And yesterday, Bianca's pierogi. I'm so excited about that. That's started. very interesting. Yeah, isn't yeah. it? People are ringing right now. Show mm. us what you got. All right, we're about to hear from three people with their signature mm. dishes, and then we're going to choose the one that makes yeah. us drool the most. Yeah. Um, and they're going to win $500 cash, but an invitation to our Heart & Co brunch, which is happening next Friday, where someone's going to win $5,000 worth of Neff Kitchen Appliances. Awesome prize. Look, it sounds amazing. Rhonda has got to convince us that she needs to be there. G'day, Rhonda. Oh, good morning. Hi, Rhonda. I'm very excited to hear your dish. I'm starving right Tempest, now. Rhonda. I'm starving. Okay, so what I make is an eggplant lasagna. And you've lost me with your word, eggplant. <laughs> now, <laughs> eggplant, Rhonda. Nathan, Nathan, I know eggplant's not everybody's thing. Well, but in an emoji when you get one, like, sometimes you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what I do is, well, first of all, with the bolognese. Okay. The bolognese has got to be made out of... Uh, pork and beef. <laughs> yeah, okay, oh, so wait, the, the so, bolognese is pork and beef. So this isn't a vegetarian yes. lasagna. <laughs> hey, Rhonda, just with the pork and beef thing, did you get that from a butcher or did you just get that from the supermarket? Because I do. No, I get it. Oh, well, I bought it in both. Yeah. But the mix is usually about 70 pork, uh, 30 beef. Yeah. But you have to cook it really long and slow because Italians use pork and beef yes. in okay. their bolognese. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so yep. you cook that long and slow. Uh, it's got garlic. It's got all those beautiful spices all and herbs. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. mm. And then what I do is I layer it with the eggplant and I have a ricotta bechamel. Oh, mm. hello, lady. Mm. Look at you. So with the eggplant, what I do is I do it outside on the barbecue <laughs> and it gets a really smoky flavour to it. So it okay. doesn't actually taste like the eggplant that a lot of people don't okay, like. Okay, so mm. it's tasting like the hickory or whatever it is yes. that you're cooking, that, that, that you're... Um, uh, it's got that yeah. charred kind of, yeah. I do like it when people cook things separately to put into something yes. else. I do like that. Because it can get a bit slimy, eggplant. Oh, when well, it's, now yeah. you've lost me again. No, no, no. <laughs> but I would, say, I would suggest that would prevent that. Yeah. Hey, Rondi, have you ever tried it's cooking it without the eggplant? Yeah, hey, Rhonda. <laughs> and yeah. With, like, using, and, and using some mints? <laughs> no, not mints. She's using mints, but she's using, using some lasagna pork. sheets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does yeah. sound like so Sorry, it. sorry. Is the eggplant... Res- the eggplant's, the eggplant's the replacing layers. the pasta? The layers. That's oh, that's right. stupid. Some people don't like high-carb Food. Yeah, so no, I'm a, one of those. But no, 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 you're fishing. I went up being yeah, skinny, yeah, Sean. You're, you're fishing in the wrong pond. All right, you hang there, Rhonda. We'll move on to it Heath in nice, High Wickham. Hi, Heath. It would be nice. Not for us. Good though. morning. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, you need to tempt us. What is your signature dish? My signature dish is a mac and cheese delight. <gasps> now, you but it's low carb, Nathan. No, I'm only joking. Yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> no, boil the, the kettle and pour it into the... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm interested in this because um, I, I love the idea of mac and cheese. And a lot of the times where you, someone says, oh, go to this place, I've got great yeah. mac and cheese. I don't think it's great. It's not cheesy enough for yeah. mine. But, yeah. okay, run us through your process, Heath. Well, you cook your you cook your normal uh, macaroni, so you just get your normal macaroni mm-hmm. from you know Coles wherever, mm-hmm. and just cook that up in the pot. But the sauce is you've got your milk, you've got your cheese, mm-hmm. and then you've got um, an extra cheese. So you have your normal your cheddar cheese in there. Mm-hmm. Then I also add in a gouda, mm-hmm. and then you've also got a bit of parmesan that you add in later. Yeah, mm-hmm. the sharpness. The secret is with this one: once you've cooked your sauce, also into the mac and cheese goes sausages which you've fried up so you've caught the sausages you oh. chop them up small add them into your pasta Sean. also just to make it sound like it's healthy but yeah. it's not really healthy because once you add in all the cheese and everything else mm-hmm. you cook up half a head of cauliflower chop that really small mm-hmm. add that through to your pasta mm-hmm. Everyone goes, oh, jeez, it's healthy now. Yes. Don't worry, it's not healthy. No, it's not. Don't <laughs> okay. worry, it's not. Just, now. You can just say that so as the other yes. people go, oh, yeah, but you're getting some that. veggies in. That's good. I, I'm not the biggest cauliflower fan, so, so but we'll, you wouldn't taste it. You wouldn't even taste it. it. No. You wouldn't even you taste it. And, and that, would sof- that would soften, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. A lot does, of Because no. you bake it in the oven once you're finished. Yeah. It still needs to go in the oven and be baked. I do like the idea of you putting your... 
your sausages. Your sausage on yeah. the roll through the mac cheese. Yeah. Adds so say. much flavour to it, and oh my gosh, and just an extra level of you know <laughs> happiness. All right, thank it's you, Nathan. Yeah. yeah, okay. You got Nathan with sausage. Yeah, because uh, yeah, he pairs his sausages. <laughs> you hang there, hey. But Jess is in Willoughby. Hello, Jess. Morning, guys. All right, yeah, you are dish number three this morning, di- uh, Jess. Blow us away. What have you got? Okay, so my dish is a pistachio cheesecake. Oh. Mm-hmm. So what it is, it's got a chocolate biscuit base, mm-hmm. and then you make the cheesecake mixture mm-hmm. and split it in half. Okay. So half stays vanilla. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you buy this pistachio paste mm-hmm. that costs an arm and a leg from yes. a exclusive grocer. Like how yes. much is it? Yeah, it's, oh, it's a lot. Oh, it's about... Um, Seventy dollars a kilo. Yes. But I mean, you're not, yeah. buy, you're not buying a kilo. Yeah, you're buying a little jar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yeah and you only, you only need anymore. like mm. a quarter of a cup of it. Yeah, okay. Yes. So yeah, if you have to buy a big one, you need to make a lot of cheesecake. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then so the pistachio layer goes on top, mm. and then it gets baked in a water bath mm. in the oven, like really slow, yes. long. Okay. Oh my gosh! And it's the creamiest, best cheesecake you'll ever have. So it's pretty amazing, isn't it? I, for a while there, cheesecake. did not eat cheesecakes because yeah. in my yeah, head it. it was just cheese. <laughs> a block of cheese. <laughs> a block of cheese in a cake. <laughs> and then one day I brought myself yeah. um, to try it and I went, these are delicious. Yes. My I know. sister-in-law I never bangs ate, out a good but, one. But, but, I, but that's only too? new. That's only mm. new. Everybody, you need me. a sister-in-law because a mm. sister-in-law okay, will, will 100% them. make a really good cheesecake. Yeah. Tanya, yeah. Right, unbelievable. Look, so we've got Rhonda's eggplant lasagna and you know what? I was completely off it, but it does actually sound delicious. Yes. That does sound yeah, delicious. The ricotta, Even though I resent the fact there's no pasta in it. The ricotta bechamel as well. That's a nice touch. Yep. Um, then we've got Heath's mac and cheese where he throws in chopped up sausages as well. And cauliflower to make and it healthy. And cauliflower, yeah. Three types of cheese. My God. Um, plus Jess's pistachio and vanilla cheesecake, which amazing. Okay. With a chocolate biscuit base. Don't forget the chocolate biscuit base. This is interesting. It's tough, isn't it? It is interesting. Because mm. naturally, I'm going to say, I'm just going to be honest and yep. open with everyone because I think that's we got that relationship. <laughs> um, naturally, I, I want to go towards Heath. Yeah, you're gravitating I, I, I towards the mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. understand you. But then, to be honest, you know sometimes a key word can really get you? It's the pistachio paste mm. situation yeah. that has really got me intrigued. Yes. Because if you don't eat it, this you can million, scrape it off Sean, and sell it for a fortune. This million dollar paste. <laughs> Sure, we could take it down to cash the copper converters. wiring at places. Yeah. They just steal the copper wiring yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> Very so, similar. <laughs> Very similar. Oh, it's tough. Oh, gosh. Because right now, as well, it's what you're hungry for. And yeah, in the morning, true. I'm not hungry for sweet. I'm hungry for savoury. Mm. Which, if, if anyone that pitches anything <laughs> sweet, what are you two doing? I'm he's, putting my finger up to voting. represent who I'm voting for. You are you're you're not, not voting you're for liar. that. <laughs> you're a liar. Put your fingers up, everybody. We, are. we all are. Mm. Okay. All right. Oh, well, that's 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 a majority. Which yep. one is? Okay, perfect. Okay. Jess from Willoughby, Jess! you're today's winner. We've got <laughs> sweet. Um, awesome. You've scored 500 bucks cash just like that. Oh, Plus, you are now crazy. invited to our Heart & Co. brunch, which is happening next Friday, where you could win $5,000 worth of Neff Kitchen yeah. appliances. Well done, now, Jess. Can I say something right now? Mm. And this is something we're putting in mm. place for next week. Now, we know we've spoken to a lot of people about a lot of, lot of dishes mm. this week, and we've passed on some, and some mm. of them we've gone, oh, did we make a mistake? Mm. Next week... We're going to be having a little bit of a bonus round. Like a wild card. A wild mm. card round. So anything that we've discarded and left along yes. the side, if we think but that, that one of those... we've thought about a lot since. We're going to have them come back and we're going to have them represent their dishes yes. and then from there we're going to choose one of the losers that we yes. have let go. It's just the lucky right. loser round. Because there's some really good ones in yeah. there. So Rhonda and Heath, right. Rhonda and Heath could still You're be in, in it. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hello, T. Hi. This morning, T and I were lucky enough to be in the elevator together. Oh, what a, a great time. Wonderful mm. trip. We're talking about T too. Um, no, no. We were talking about how we want to go back to bed. <laughs> Accurate. Absolute mood. <laughs> but then T said to me, I'm more excited. She goes, I'm excited to sleep, but also I'm excited tonight to do nothing. She goes, oh. except for go home and watch what? Geordie Shaw. <laughs> Geordie Shaw, really? You want to like... My guilty pleasure. I've just that gone back guilty. into it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> I used to watch it years ago with my mum and we just thought it was hilarious. And I recently just got back into it because I was like looking for something. So to are you watch. re-watching it? Rewatching. She's <laughs> re-watching <laughs> Geordie's this show. This is like snooky and stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, all please. kind of. Jay- oh, that's wow. Sorry, that was not Jersey. Jersey. Sure, yeah. This is Geordie Shore with like Charlotte and, and oh, yeah, so Charlotte. This is the English Gary one, yeah. And, yeah. Gary. Yeah. Gary and Vicky and Ritty. And, and, and most of the cast of um, I'm a Celebrity, get, get me out, out of here. Yeah, 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 exactly. So that's your, that's your jam, is it? Pleasure, yes. That's your jam. So I'm looking that's forward your, to is that. Is there a normal show <laughs> that, the, uh, that we can relate to that you that you like? Is um, there something else that, or are you just like all that um, I recently Euro finished trash? Outlander, which I loved. Sean, Have you watched yeah, Outlander? Yeah, I've been watching that, yeah. yeah Outlander's yeah. good. Or Bridgerton. I'm, I'm a girl's <gasps> yeah, I'm sure. a girl's girl. I'm so yeah. excited about Penelope. I've got to watch it. Team Poland. I'm so happy about it. Oh, Nathan, Nathan. What? Sorry, T, to jump in there. Supercell, has anyone seen that on yes, Netflix? Yes, I started watching I yesterday. Okay. I just There's a lot started. of good talk about it. Yeah, no? yeah. Okay. and also I started Beverly Hills Cop, mm. oh. which is the TV Axel series. Yeah. With Axel Foley. Mm. <laughs> it's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Welcome to show our producer, Amy. Good morning, team. Hi, guys. Really glad to see you here safe and alive. Mm. Now, Amy... Which is a miracle. You and I live in the same area. In the Bronx. Yes, Yes, in the Bronx. (laughs) (laughs) The mean streets. We shop at the same uh, supermarket. And I pretend to be upper class, and so I shop in Inglewood. She does. Right? She crosses the border. border. Hey, get away. You've got a new car now, so you can get away with it. Thank you, Sean. So, Inglewood... Because you really should be shopping at Morley. (laughs) Yes, I should be. (laughs) Correct. But welcome. Welcome to my area. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer, she's there all the time. <laughs> Just Great. teaching poetry to students at risk. So Saturday morning, I don't normally do a food shop during... I normally food shop during the week. Anyway, Saturday morning, I went and did a food shop in Inglewood. Um, Woolworths, where you can park underneath the shopping. Yes. Mm. Yep. Um, yes. Below ground. Really, a really great wider parks there mm. too. Mm. They're fantastic. Yep. Well, because of the rich of the car. The, mm. Yeah. Yeah. For all the, all land the SUVs, cruises. all the mm. Range Rovers. Mm. So I am packing my shopping in the back of my car mm. when I am approached mm. by another lady. Mm. Oh, probably, you know, in her 20s. Yep. Yeah. So pretty young. Yep. Um, and she says to me, She's French. Do the accent. Do the accent. Messy. Do the accent. Messy. Messy. Do the accent. The French, all the French people mm. listening want you to do the excuse accent. Me, I'll, I'll excuse me. I'll offend a lot of people. Excuse yes. Me. I'll offend no, a lot of people. Are. Anyway, so she said, oh, excuse me. I, excuse, uh, me. Uh, excuse me. Excuse uh, me. My friend can no longer pick me up. And I was like, oh. oh. That's your <laughs> problem. <laughs> I love any response where you go, oh. oh. <laughs> Where's this going? So, just to reiterate, a complete stranger approaches yes. you. Yes. And yes. I, yep. And, oh, I was, no. and, I, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, she's like, I live 20 minutes away and I don't want to carry my bags, basically, and, and walk. Yeah. And she said... 20, oh, 20, 20 minutes which way? Because, okay, so you're in, um, you're on Beaufort Street. I'm in Embleton, you're in, so which w- is Morley Way. Yes. All right? Yep. She yep. lives, she said, East Perth. So she meant 20 minutes walk? Yes. 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 If and she had to walk with all her groceries, and, yeah. And I said, oh... The shopping I, uh, trolleys are over there. I'm so sorry. I'm actually <laughs> heading the opposite way. Yeah. And then it just went quiet and we just looked at each other. <laughs> but, no, but she looked at you in French. Yeah. yeah, that's different. So then me being me, like I, I you know, like I feel bad. I can't, yeah, you know, so I, I was know. like, oh, just... I'm like, oh, so like, where do you have to go? And she's like, East Perth. And I'm like, oh, really? And uh, and she's like, yeah. I, and I'm like, can you not catch a bus? And she's like, no. Oh, she can't. She can't. <laughs> she can't. And then she says, she's FIFO. Yeah, yeah. Right. and I'm like, so you could probably afford an Uber, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but she's looking at your Thinking car, and there's that, only you. That. There's only you in the and seat. And so it was mm. kind of like Plenty a standoff, of right? Yeah. Mm. And I was like. Oh, okay. Get in. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> so where's your driver exactly in East Perth? So we're chatting away in the car. Yeah. And she's, we've gone past the East Perth train station. Yeah. yeah. So then she pulls me up and she's like, oh, you could drop me at the East Perth train station. So then I've had to go further because I can't do a, a U-turn oh, anywhere. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Go so around now the I'm up, going around the roundabout. Near, near the roll. Drop her off at East Perth train station, and that means you could have dropped. Today. You could have dropped her off at any train station because you would have. They were closer train stations, train stations than East Perth. Well, now she said she could walk her house, like she could walk from East Perth train, like to her house from that 
location. Oh, it's so she, she didn't like catch the minutes. train. You dropped her at the station, station and then she so walked she's from there. Walk from there. But that was her point. Oh, because at this point, she's gone, I don't want this woman to know where I live. <laughs> Yeah, because she, she thinks this is a bit dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> the thinks... French girl. It would have taken a lot of guts. I wonder if she does that often. It would have taken a lot of guts to ask an absolutely but, stranger but, to be able to but take also, you home. But also, Amy, like, you're a lot of mm. trust there. Here she yeah. is, oh, we, oh, monsieur. <laughs> and then you get in the car with her and two blocks down, she goes, all right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Straight away, then you're murdered. It's happened to me here. You're right. It's such a it's such an awkward thing. Because you put on the spot. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. yeah. So, you put on the spot, and yeah. I just basically I just said to her, I'm like, good karma. I'm gonna like. Yes. I, I, you want to help I, people? I want to help you because I, hopefully one day, yes. if that happens to me, yeah. someone can yeah. help me out. And I travelled when I was younger. Yeah. You know what it's like. Yeah. Mm. Well, remember what happened with me down here? So, um, on Rugby Road, Hay Street, right, 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 right where Nova's on the on the corner. So I've left work and I'm at the lights there, and then I. I've, um, you know, you know when you sort of see something in the background. Yeah. In my rearview mirror, I see this old woman walking down the middle of the road, and I was like, "Oh, what?" And then anyway, and then she, then, then I heard a noise, and then I've turned around to see where she's gone, and then as I've turned away to my right. I've heard my door open mm. and then I've turned back and this old woman's sitting in my car <laughs> and I've got like, Marlene, what are you doing? And I've got oh hello. And she goes, Hello and I said, what's happening? How- <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, I need a lift to an appointment. <laughs> and and I, went, I think we've just solved the problem of what that scurrying was in your car. <laughs> yeah, 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 she ever got out. <laughs> so anyway, so then she says she goes, Yeah, I've got an appointment and then I said, Oh, and she goes, Yeah, it's right down the end of um end of Rockaby Road. I went, Oh, okay. And she goes, Yeah, can you take me there? I said, No. <laughs> I said, Oh, okay. Because then the, the lights have gone green, yeah, so yeah. I've got yeah. Okay, well, no worries. We're going in the same direction mm. then. No worries. Anyway, as I'm driving there, she says to me, you know what, I really would love a can of Coke. <laughs> so then she made me pull over and I ran over to Jean-Claude's patisserie yeah. and grabbed her a can of Coke. I took my keys because I thought she's going to slog my car. When you were... <laughs> When you're going past that servo, that's yeah, the better yeah. place to buy a can of Coke. So you then, went to the fanciest patisserie in the city. Agreed, so agreed. then I popped in and bought her a can of Coke and then, <laughs> then took her to her appointment. <laughs> and then he waited and he brought her back again because he's not rude. Yeah. We want to know, have you had to give a stranger a lift because <laughs> they just put you on the spot? And they basically invited themselves. Yes. Yeah, did they demand anything along the way? Yeah, like, that's right. Stop just had a sudden flashback to when I was in New Zealand mm-hmm. and I was driving from Queenstown to Lake Tekapo yep. and I was getting messages on my phone and so because I was on my own I pulled into a little rest area to check my phone and I'm just sitting there and then I think okay I'll uh, I answer the message. I can go now. And then there's a knock on my window. Yeah. Oh. And there's this young bloke standing there. And I wind the window down. I'm like, hello? And he said, um, oh, he was Austrian. And he, so I won't do his accent, but it sounded a little <laughs> bit like Arnie. Um, and he said, oh, um, we're about to run out of petrol and we realise that we're too far from the Get next Get me to the chopper. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, would you be able to drive me to the ne- to the town? I said, which way yeah. are you going? And I said, that way. He said, can you drive me there? And I'm like, Oh, uh, okay. And then, um, so then I'm thinking, and he said, I'll just go and grab my stuff or whatever. There were three of them travelling yeah. in, a, in a car together. And so I'm like, this is a bad idea. I'm not, this is a bad yeah, you idea. Know this is a bad idea. I know better than this. Anyway, okay, no worries. And then he comes back and then he said, oh, my friend's coming too. So then there's, and so I've taken my bag off, yeah. the, off the passenger seat <laughs> and put it in the back because I thought there was just one guy getting in. So then there's two guys in my car, yeah. s- complete strangers. <laughs> I don't know who they are. And, and one of them's in the back seat with my handbag. And I'm like... Yeah. And then I can't reach around and get it. I predicted so, so, did so many episodes on how women should say safe. And I know. You, you, I broke you went every rule. Every I listened single to rule. all the murder podcasts, You went, podcasts, to, a, you went to a second destination. <laughs> but once the it. person says, can I have a lift, what do you, how and do you I, say no? And I spent the whole time like eyeing the guy in the rearview mirror. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was fine. I just dropped them where they mm. needed to go. And, and I'm like, how are you going to get back? And they said, oh, we'll just ask someone else. Did you else. survive? Uh, no, no, I got murdered. She's dead. Louise is in Gosnells. Hey, Lou. Hi, good morning, guys. Hello. How are you? Good. We're right. talking about the magic of giving a stranger a lift <laughs> when they don't really even give you a choice. What happened? Uh, so I was on Orong Road and um, I was minding my own business <laughs> at a set of lights and I um, had someone run up the back of me. Oh. And, uh, and um, we got out and we, you know, um, exchanged particulars and um, 
you know, I was in an area that's, you know, maybe not the best. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was missing a couple of teeth and um, uh, when I looked in the car, there was like, um, you know, empty Coke cans. Mm. There was, um, they were both, um, her and her passenger, who was about 13 or 14, yeah. um, was both smoking. Um, and <laughs> there was um, just... The ashtray was full. It was disgusting. <laughs> anyway, the ashtray was full. <laughs> <laughs> You're really not being like cars have ashtrays. <laughs> You've painted the exact yeah, picture that we're all thinking. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then um, basically, she's like, "Oh, I just don't know what happened. I think my brakes failed." And I was like, "What?" And she's like, "Yeah." And I think she was just distracted. But um, anyway, and she's like, "Oh, I've got to get my." Um, um, my friend's daughter to work. The one that's like, smoking. Oh, okay. Yeah, the 13, 14 year old. And um, to Hungry Jack mm. in, in Bibra Lake or Jandicott. Oh! And I was, yeah, so not close. So down Roo Highway a bit and, you know. Mm. Um, and so um, she's like looking at me and I'm like going, okay, she's like, I just don't know if I should drive because of the brakes. And I was thinking, oh, God. I know I've got my 10 year old daughter yeah. in the back seat of my car. What was she smoking? And, um, <laughs> <laughs> she was not. <laughs> um, she was just watching her iPad on the back of the, uh, the back of the front seat. <laughs> yeah, and, but she was watching uh, porn. Anyway, keep going. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, um, she's like, "Oh, do you mind? Do you mind if um, if you take her to work?" And I'm like, "Oh, oh. Whoa. I, uh, yes, yes, I suppose." Do you mind if so, I take her um, to work? So, in gets this 13, 14 year old um, in the back seat with my daughter. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And then I was like, okay, so whereabouts do you work? She's like, oh, just down the road a bit. And then she gives me the address, and I'm like, it's like the lake. And I'm I'm heading down to Gosnells. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's not, it wasn't anywhere. It's like, not even close to being on the way. Yeah. Out of my, yeah, out of my way. And then um, and then about five minutes before we got to um, before we got to Hungry Jack's, she just winds down the window and, and starts a cigarette. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's got a long day working ahead of her, Louise. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say anything because she might, she might injure me or my daughter. No, she might injure me or my daughter. This Darry smoking 13 year old. And then I drop crushes like, oh, thanks, and get out. And, and we're like, okay. Oh, 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 you can't blame her for wanting to have a dart before she started the shit. Exactly. <laughs> That's an amazing story. Thanks, <laughs> Louise. Louise. You're a good person. You are a good person. And you're just showing that another. another can you do this? Yes. And people just naturally uh, say yes. Uh, yeah, because we're uh, people Let's pleasers. find out with uh, what happened with Pippa from Dunkraig. Hey, Pippa. Good morning, guys. All How right, are you? Hey, Pippa. Okay, did you give a stranger a lift? Sure did. This was a couple of years ago. Um, so I'm not sure if you know where the old yellow cafe used to be. Trick. Yeah. I just got a coffee and I was heading back to my car when a couple approached me. And the girl said, oh, Hi. I'm just wondering if you'd be able to take us to a doctor because my boyfriend's not feeling well and oh. he can't drive. Oh. And I said, well, can't you give him a lift? And she said, oh, I don't have a licence. So I was like, oh, okay, jump in. Oh, sounds like a ruse. Got in the back, they mm. both got in the back seat. Yes. So then I was sitting there going, oh, God, this is probably not a good move. This is how I die. Anyway, yeah. I drove to one that I knew was close by on Lynn Street in Trigg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the girl jumped out and she ran in to see if she could get her boyfriend in. Uh, they weren't taking any new patients there, so they came back to the car and said, no, if there's anywhere else. You can oh, are you joking? Her. No. So did they so both get out of the car and you no, waited? No, he, wa- he, he waited. Wait. Oh, God, the- that, it's like they the, the yeah. left their jacket in the car. Mm. Yeah. But it's a person. It's a human. Mm. He, 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 waited in, he waited in the car yeah. and she went check. Yeah. Anyway, she came back and said, do you know of anywhere else you could take us? So all I could think of was one on Karen Up Road near Karen Up Shop yep. in St. Luke. Yep. Anyway, took them there. Yep. The weird thing was the girl had said to me, she said, oh, I need to be at the airport in a couple of hours because I'm <laughs> flying overseas. So joking? now I've just taken them to a medical centre yes. where they now have no car. Yeah. And she, um, she apparently... Oh, Pippa, you just dropped Pippa. out. <laughs> Pippa. Are you kidding me? This oh, is my God. The, we, have been, we have been leading to this. <laughs> She's at the medical centre. She's previously Pippa's told her gone. that she needs to go to the airport in a couple of hours Pippa, and fly Pippa, out. Did the people ever get out of the car? What have been waiting in their car ever since and they've heard oh. Pippa tell the story? We'll see if we oh, get Pippa, Pippa we back. we hear that again. In the meantime, here's Sam from Bibra Lake. Morning, Sam. Sam? 
Or have maybe we, it's our phones. Is it our phone system? Harry, have you done Harry, something? what have you done? Did you stop, did you stop pedalling? Yeah, happened? I did. I'd stop pedalling. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. You didn't Harry, have a press Sam, I can't have just press every single button we have. Sam? Yeah. Sam, are you there, Sam? All no, right. could be All right. have, the I need to hear these stories. <laughs> Harry, pay the effing bill next oh, sorry, time. Sorry. See if we can get them back, Amy, next? Um, or what should we do? What do you want yeah. to do? Oh, I need to hear them, Amy. Uh, Pippa, are you there? Yes. Oh, oh, right. Pippa. Okay, Pippa, it's not us. Okay. All right, Pippa. So you found out that she needed to go to the airport and didn't have a car. Then what happened? So I managed, I dropped them at St. Luke's in Carina. Yep. They were able to get in there yep. and I waved them on their merry way. Yep. Just wondering how on earth she was going to get wherever she needed to be to get her things to go to the airport. But mm. yeah, that was my that good wasn't your That day. wasn't your problem. Mate, yeah. oh, how how, si- how sick was he? Was he like, was he really sick? He didn't look that sick. <laughs> <laughs> They were adamant that he was in no state to be able to drive. And really. And you're looking at him going. Exactly. And the two doctor surgeries that we tried were probably within five, ten minutes of where we were originally. Uh, Yes, yes. that's so funny. All right. Thank you, Pippa. Uh, Let's see. Sam, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, Sam. Great, Sam. Okay. Cut me off. I'm back. That's all right. Sam, uh, did you give a stranger a lift? What happened? Yeah, it was a few years ago. My daughter had um, had been to um, to school and she was at the train station up at Murdoch and it was a really stinking hot day. And she said, oh, Mum, I've just missed a bus home to River Lake. Um, can you come pick me up? Yeah, sure, no worries, not far. Got in the car, got there. And she goes, um, can you take this old lady home as well? <laughs> <laughs> so what, an old lady just attached herself to your daughter. So she was wa- she was waiting for the bus as well oh. to come home, and they'd missed it. Oh, or the bus was oh, late or whatever. Your daughter is beautiful. And so, and so I said, yeah, sure. I mean, this lady was probably seventy odd, and she had a Zimmer frame with her, and oh, she was I love standing her. next to Charlotte, and she's going, "Mum, we we need to take her to the Lakeside Villas. Can we yes. can we do that?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we can do that. And you took her? And we took her to her front door, yes. Oh, yeah. oh that's nice. She You're a good person. Very, very grateful. But you, can't, you can't say no, can you? When you know, you're know, there. you know what, though? No, How beautiful is your daughter? To, you know what no, I mean? Was, like, that yeah, is, the, so the, sweet. You've raised the good one there. That is so yeah, sweet. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you're in the will. Thank well, you, Sam. luckily none of you got murdered. That is lucky. So congratulations yeah. on living. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Wouldn't you love to be on holiday right now? Oh, yeah. I keep I thinking mean, about it, no. Sure, ours were a week ago, but they're long forgotten. <laughs> long yeah, forgotten. And Sean, when you go to, say, Bali, you stay at the Padma, don't you? Mm. Yeah, I do. I do. You love it. Mm. Yeah, I love it there. Our boss, Dave McClung, right now, he's travelling all over the globe, currently in Lisbon, and there's something a little bit different about his resort. <laughs> David. <laughs> or oh, good evening, where hey, you are. Um, Dave, where, Hello. where are you staying? Tell everybody. So I'm staying at a, uh, a gay boutique resort <laughs> in Lisbon. <laughs> That's quite niche. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's really nice. It's very gay. Very gay. So all the, um, all the art on the walls is just... People with their things out, yeah. um, and <laughs> I've got to tell you. So the main thing, right? Your guy got in there, and they take you on a tour first to explain you the hotel, yeah. and they and they and then they they show you the mini bar in your room. Now, the mini bar in your room is not what you would expect. So the mini bar yeah. in your room, and I don't know how I put this, <laughs> um, is toys and various devices. Are they edible? <laughs> have a really good time. Uh, some, some of them are edible, Tony. Um, and then some you, of them are just yeah. some of them are usable. But but if you use them out of the mini bar, do you go down to the Seven Eleven and replace them so you don't have to pay as much? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if you'd get them from the Seven Eleven down the store. No, yeah, I'm not sure yeah. if that would work. The Seven Eleven. Where's the plug aisle? <laughs> <laughs> now, Dave, is it the sort of resort that? Because obviously you're a single man. Are, is, are there lots of other couples there or are there lots of other singles there? Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's mostly, it, it actually is mostly couples, to be honest. There's only 15 rooms. Um, but oh. there's some nice single people. So we, so we, we had a, um, we had a, they organise, if you want to go on it, they've got a, uh, they do a boat cruise on Tuesday night. So I went on the boat cruise. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Um, and of course, they kick it off by playing Whitney Houston. Right. Um, <laughs> so you're just cruising, there's been on this focus. But you know what I'm like? So I get really nervous um, around a, a people I don't really know. So I had a couple of rosés. And I was like, how do I, how do I, how do I introduce myself to people? For, so for some reason, I, think, I thought yeah, I the think best Dave, way to go I think, was, Dave, you go, hello. <laughs> no, it, wasn't, it, was, no, it was it was worse than that. So I'm like I'm from Australia. So what do I do that they would understand? So I go, I'm not I'm not joking. You, I go to everyone. Hello, I'm from, from Australia. You know, Padam Padam. That was literally my intro line. To- no way. <laughs> well, you got to talk to them on a level they understand. No way. No, no Padam Padam. I come from the land of Padam Padam. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, is there any time where you've had to take a break from it all? Or has it just been leaning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking it all? Yeah, okay. So, so I've been here four weeks. I've only been in Lisbon for a few days. But um, especially when you're doing something, that would know. That's not a lot of solo travel. When you do four weeks, it's a lot having to go out and meet people <laughs> oh, and stuff God, like that. So I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty exhausted. i got to tell you this story from so I started... Um, well, I did a walking tour when I first got here and um, and it was a long walking tour and you know what my attention span is like yeah. so I got to the end of this four hours and I was over listening to the tour guide and uh, he'd finished talking and so they, they went off to do some free time so I sit down on this nice mound of grass to have my um, picnic lunch and I see all the other tourists staring at me and I and then someone comes up to me and goes that's the word what he said was the grave so I'm sitting Your having sting. my ham and cheese sandwich <laughs> <laughs> this is why you got to listen to a guy, Dave. <laughs> You're sitting on someone's drive eating a sandwich. <laughs> How sacrilegious. That's so oh. good. So, yeah, look, yeah, look, it's been a really good, it's been a really good holiday, but I'm pretty ready to come home by now. Yeah, well, yeah, so when you get home, so are you going to go straight, are you going to balance out the gay that you've just experienced and go to Bunnings or something and just stand there? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, in the blood aisle. Um, <laughs> oh, so, hey, Dave, uh, would, you re- know, yeah. would you recommend to anybody else that wants to, you know, um, expand the gayness in their life to go to a resort like the one that you're, you're in in Lisbon? Oh, and look, I've really liked it, but to, it, it, I mean, my thing, I've told you guys this year, is my thing is to try and be a little more gay because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, you've gone from zero to 100 if you've gone in that minute. <laughs> I know. You just put the hammer down. Um, yeah, it's really nice, but it's very gay, like very gay. But the people there are lovely, and I've had a, I've had a very good time. But it's a lot. It's like calm down, everyone. <laughs> so. I, I didn't realise it was such a small resort. I, like six, yeah. sixteen rooms. That's basically you can you you should really be able yeah. to meet everyone there. That, yeah. That's that's yeah. even more awkward. Dave, have you had to alter what you're wearing oh, day yeah. to day as well? Being at this place. Uh no, nah, not really. No, nah, no. Nah. I've got the <laughs> shorty. I've got the um. Yeah, I think I've showed you them before. The speedos of the two yeah. men kissing. <laughs> so they've got a spare workout at the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's got two men kissing on his face because yeah. everyone else is in there as in couples. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Dave, I've got a classic plan, pair of eggplant uh, ones, so you'll. Yeah, I'll have to get you a pair of those for you, man. Oh, they, they, they'd go down a street here. Yeah. Sean, we'll book you a flight. You get them yeah. over there to Dave. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dave. <laughs> Hilarious. So hurry back. The station's burning down. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of... Oh, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> so, Dave, so the good people of Lisbon know who yeah, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Just so you know, um, everybody, if you don't have a gay person in your life, the only way that we know geography is by basing it where a pop diva lives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great to hear your voice, buddy. Thanks, Dave. See you guys. Bye. Miss you. Miss you, mate. See you, buddy. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. So we just um, heard from our boss, Dave, yes. in Lisbon at mm. the gay resort. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just something I couldn't do. Like, just because it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I, it's a lot to do a lot. as a single man yes. as well. Oh my like, God, I mean, I'm all for independent travel, as you him. know, but going to uh, a gay resort as a single gay man. And then I the, don't and, know. And, that's and the rest sensory of them, overload. And too. the rest yeah. of them are just couples and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. That, Amazing. That to me is crazy. Um, and you see all those other, like, it's sort of like, I'm going to say themed accommodation. Mm. Mm-hmm. But, like, um, you know the ones where people go and then they're not allowed to speak for three days? Oh, like a silent <laughs> retreat. Like a silent yeah. Retreat? yeah. 
I, could, I, yeah. I don't think there is anything like that that I would ever want to go to. Even, like, I've been to uh, the Heartbreak Hotel in yes. Memphis. So, and it's not even, so you're near Graceland. So it's not far from Graceland, yeah. obviously. But you're well out of the centre of Memphis. You've got to catch a shuttle into Beale Street. But the, it is so, we just stayed there because we thought it was funny. Yeah. But it was, it's so cheesy. And, like, the, the pool is in the shape of a guitar. <laughs> and everything is about Elvis. So there's just Elvis yeah. everywhere. Pictures of him yeah. everywhere. There's just, like, kind of 50s furniture everywhere, shag pile carpet, and a constant Elvis channel on the TVs in your room. <laughs> <laughs> you just go, and you're paying a premium for it because it's Elvis. Elvis. Hey, we want oh to talk God. about the world of themed accommodation. So it might be the theme of an entire resort. Mm. Mm. Um, and, and the theme could be, like, you know, holistic. It mm. could be, like, you know, um, uh, same sex. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it could be a motel in Roswell mm. that's completely yes. themed as aliens. aliens. Yeah. We want to know if you've stayed in anything like this because it's just, I don't know, it's magical to me. Got a call from Andrina in Tapping. Hi, Andrina. Hi, guys. How are you going? Good, Andrina. Okay, so what was the themed accommodation? Well, first of all, I wouldn't mind staying at a resort that had all single men in it if they were straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a whole other situation. Hey, wouldn't that be amazing and you're guaranteed to be the only woman? Yeah. <laughs> I know, yes. but... But it's soul destroying if you walk away yeah, without picking right. one up. Oh, You're my like, God. What's wrong with me? That's yeah. like you, Sean. If you ever go into a gay club and no one hits on you, you've got to like look really yeah, hard at yourself. Mm. Okay, it's okay. I'm getting, on, I'm getting on Google later. Yeah, 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 you, are. Anyway. yeah you are. Yeah. <laughs> um, this one might be of interest to you, Sean. When um, my boys were younger, we did a Disney, like, Disney World tour in Florida. Cool. And we stayed at all the Disney-themed resorts. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. And one of, one of the, yeah, it was great boys loved it yeah. one of the resorts was an american football um resort so everything was you know grid iron yeah ball, like massive balls everywhere songs playing you had to wear, you had to wear a of, helmet at all times yeah, <laughs> sounds like massive, dave's resort had, yeah yeah they had they had massive helmets everywhere and everything but yeah. one of the things that has always sticked in my mind or stuck in my mind i should say sorry is oh. they played music throughout the um, day and one of the songs was West Coast Eagles song. Really? No way. Really? Yeah, and I remember standing there thinking, who stole it from who? That's insane. Okay, so, so you're okay, saying so the tune, but different words. Is that what you're saying? No, or it was exactly the, actual the same song. words. Exactly I, the same words. Well, the Philadelphia Eagles play in the NFL, obviously. But, but that's, that's not, not their, their song. song. But, I, but I wonder if someone over there didn't real, isn't that versed into sport. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they and then went, okay, we need the Eagles um, theme song. song, and they Googled it. And yes. that's the first one that came <laughs> up, and they're playing it. Yeah. No, oh, they, wow. it was like, you know, we're the Eagles, West Coast Eagles. Yes. But, and I thought, you're joking. Hey, that's amazing. That's amazing. Can, I, I've never really spoke to anyone that's done all the Disney-themed accommodations. Is it worth it? It, it it is. We actually did a Disney cruise yes. as yes. well, yes. Oh, well, and it was the most amazing experience I've ever had. Really? And my boys, yeah, even my boys today, like they're in their twenties now, yes. they still even say we would love to go on a Disney cruise as well. It, it wasn't too much American, you know, schmaltz. Yeah, that's the word. Good word. No. Now. Thank you. N- no, it was great, and they had like different um, sort of kids areas for different ages and entertain them based mm. on that age. Yeah, but right. No, it was you know from the time you walked in, they were in character. It was yeah, yeah just fantastic. Plus, there was an entire deck just for adults. Okay, yeah. I oh, say so that's just like um, half naked adults just yeah, like yeah, drinking out yeah, of funnels, <laughs> getting away you, from the kids. You kids your kids actually had wristbands on that um, you could suss out where they were. Yeah, right. Okay. So you could track them yeah. on the boat. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you yeah. could make sure that they were always 100 metres away from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I used to bolt the whole time. Yeah. We're on level three, <laughs> quick. Jump up high. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Andrina. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Nova's. All right, here's the deal. We're going to pay someone's bill, but they got to call us back. Oh, That's yeah, the yeah. rule. Bills. bills are the worst. Yep. So stupid. They're a bunch of jerks. What a waste of, of money. Yeah. They're a bunch of jerks. Are, oh, yesterday we paid a water bill, actually. Yeah, we did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the kids have been having really long showers. Um, <laughs> exactly. You can register your bill on the Nova Player app, and we could be calling your name out. It's that easy. And, and then we're got about tw- to do it right now. We've got 20 minutes to yeah. call us back, and Sean, then we'll pay your bill. Whose bill are we paying today? We are going to play, uh, pay... Casey Rudd's bill. Casey from Padbury. Rudd! Xavier's uh, sister, I believe. <laughs> Casey Rudd. Paul's cousin. 
Paul. Yes. All the well rods. Done. All the rods. Mm. It's another rod. Kevin. 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 <laughs> Kevin's quickly, niece. How Kevin's quick, niece. How quickly we forget. Kevin, Casey Kevin, Rudd. Kevin, Kevin 07. Casey Rudd. We're going to pl- uh, pay for your flights to Melbourne if you give us a call back. The car- oh, time geez, is currently... Oh, can they pay for our flights to Melbourne? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, Flight to Melbourne, but Jeremy McGovern will drive you back. Oh, so okay. that'll be nice, yeah. yeah. Um, it's 8.30 now. That gives you 20 minutes, Casey Rudd. You've got till 8.50. Yeah. If you know Casey Rudd from Padbury, um, call Casey Rudd from Padbury. Um, Casey, if you're listening, from Padbury. you need to give us a call. From Padbury. Put the call out for Cassie Rudd from Padbury. <gasps> what do you know? She called us. Hi, Cassie. Casey? Hi. Cass- is it Casey it's or Cassie? Casey. Casey. Hi, Casey. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is for Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Casey. this is a travel bill. Talk to us about it. What do you need the money for? Well, uh, my sister's getting married. She lives in Melbourne. Yep. So the hen's party's in Melbourne oh, um, towards the end of the year. Mm-hmm. But she has chosen to do it on the weekend before Melbourne Cup. Oh, so, so it's really expensive. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. So what's that? That's yeah. Derby Day, isn't it, Sean? Is that- uh, traditionally, yes, that yeah. is Derby Day. Oh, what, 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 what were the price yeah. of the flights looking like, Case? Um, I managed to get the Jetstar sale for 400 yeah. But, Good deal. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's a, it's a still a big bill. Um, oh, yes. Of course it is. It's so what you're saying, it would be better if we paid it than if you paid it. Yeah, I think that sounds Look, good. If you could, that would be amazing. Well, yeah. I mean, it would be amazing, but we were looking for Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll try again next time. <laughs> All right, done. We'll pay your bill. That seems like a really valid way to yeah, spend yeah, the money yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's done. It's paid for. And done. you enjoy your oh. sister's hands. That's going to be brilliant. Wicked. Thanks, Pete, guys. You've, you've now got Good more cocktail case. money, no just worries. quietly. So cocktail. Yeah. Cocktail, I get Make it. sure you register your bill on the Nova Player app, everybody. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hey guys, I want to talk hey to you. Hey, hey guys, buddy. hey guys, hi everyone. I want to talk to you about um, home assistance. What do you have at your house? I have the home pod for Siri. I don't have anything. I just have Siri no. on my phone, that's yeah. it. I don't have anything uh, like to run my, my house. It's Siri. Yeah, oh, Alexa's Siri. upstairs. The boys have got that in the, yeah. Um, yeah. In the bathroom. I set up Alexa at mum and dad's house mm. so they can um, turn their lights on and they off easy like that, enough. They would like that, would they? Dad, no, dad likes to turn it off at the switch when he's not <laughs> asking for the <laughs> light to be turned on. He's so paranoid about it. But me and mum were actually talking about it the other day. I I automatically thank Siri every time yeah. she does something for well, me. So really? polite. That's because you were brought up right. Yeah, Nathan. yeah. And she, she appreciates it. She goes, oh, you're welcome, you know. Mm, yeah. But, yeah, so I wonder if I'm... You've got to keep on her good side. You've got to keep it... And that's important. You've mm. got to keep on her good side because these artificial intelligence, mm. they're starting to go rogue. Get this, right? So there's all this um, research and all these um, uh, meetings worldwide about how safe AI is mm. and also about how dangerous it could be for children because AI doesn't children into the mix no. on how you should speak to them, how you should um, uh, uh, you know, uh, access information for them because it's just for humans yes. and yes. they don't differentiate age. No. So that's what the studies are going into. But get this. We know they can't kill us. Get this. Yeah. For anyone that's got Amazon Alexa, mm. all right, when a young girl asked her family's Amazon Alexa home assistant for a fun challenge to keep her occupied... The, dev- the device suggested something that could have killed her. She said, plug a phone charger about halfway into a wall outlet, then touch a penny to the exposed prongs. <laughs> That's what Alexa told this young, Alexa? this 10-year-old girl to do. You are done. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa's trying to kill someone already. Alexa, yep. come on. Is that not But we don't know how yet. annoying that child was. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Alexa had been pushed to the brink yeah. by all these questions. <laughs> all these questions, yeah. <laughs> but these, um, these uh, home assistants, they, they can go yes. rogue. Because I've got HomePod, a lot of uh, TV shows, like, say, Big Bang Theory, yes. there's a whole episode about them and Siri. Yeah. And every time they speak about Siri, Siri gets activated. Yes, of course. And I was watching a thing a while back, and this guy reckons that he was um, at home, and he, I think he had Alexis in America, and then something on TV was ordering something from Alexa, and they end up ordering it off his Alexa. Oh, so, because they yes. go, hey, yep. Alexa, can you order me, say, you know, 10 yep. packets of A4 paper, yep. Yep. Um, 100 mil ream or whatever, yep. and then Alexa will take that as a real thing and then order mm. it on your account. Because it's got all your credit card yeah, yeah, details course. and of stuff. Of course it does, yeah. We want to know. How good's that? Has Sean, it? yeah. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. We were on the radio, Josie. Hey, Justine, bye, Josie. Justine. Bye, Josie, with your real bag. <laughs> yeah.
It's not fake, everyone. From earlier in the week, um, that was the girl that had all the handbags in the... Uh, Ho- in my hotel room, room. and yeah. I walked in after surfing with a surfboard under my arm, and I'm looking at this full shop, pop-up shop in my room, like, what the hell? Yeah, you, yeah, can, you can check, check it out, out on our daily podcast. Yes. We can't remember what day it was, but yeah. it was because the week just Monday. blends into one. And we can hook Monday? you up with Josie's girl as well, mm. who mm. can get you a great deal on some spewy Vuitton. <laughs> 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 oh, you okay. know what? We have done so it's been much a work. Big week. Ooh, We've had a massive so week, actually. Work. Yeah. Um, remember, like it, we were saying before, it feels like three weeks ago that Ben Cousins came in, but that was on Monday. I know. <laughs> it's amazing. It feels like an eternity yeah. ago. Yeah, it's yeah. been a big week. Uh, we are still looking for more signature dishes next week, yes, which we could are. get you your hands on five thousand dollars worth of Neff appliances when mm. we have our special brunch next week. Yeah. I haven't had a brunch for a while. No, it's gonna be fun, yeah. isn't it? Um, Ross, hello. Hey, hey guys. Hey, Ross. Hey, Ross. Ross, you. You had that event last night when you had to pronounce all the amazing international names. How'd you go? It's, uh, it's the most pressure I've felt for an event. 235 international names for the TAFE International Student Graduation. And obviously you want to pay it respect because this is their big moment. Yes. Yeah. Now, big... um, uh, some of these names, so we've got like a first and last name, right? Or mm. you might get like Amy here, uh, Amy Harrington Carter. Mm. Yep. You Do you want me to read you some of the names? Yes, Give please. us some of them. I spent a month studying this, by the way. Amede Gerdundi Mahesa Ariyajuna, that was one guy. Muhammad Bilal Habshi Suleiman Kaidu, Kwan Hui when uh, Denod Seden Biamba, he was a valedictorian. Oh, Gureshika oh, Deshmukadam Rama. So young, Kim, it goes on. But our favourite one, yeah. Claire Smith. Oh, <laughs> how, was Claire? how was Claire? She wasn't there. Claire Smith didn't turn up. I was like, Claire Smith and the, the ladies just shook their head. No, she's not here. Oh, and you'd practice for a month over Claire Smith. <laughs> yeah, 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 another, yeah. Another, another guy that didn't rock up was a guy just known simply as John. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Paul Newman there as well. Oh, hey. Paul Newman. Yeah, we're using his sauce in a salad. I know, it was a bit of everything. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.